Established almost one and a half centuries ago in 1863, the International Committee of the Red Cross says it has not derailed from its core mandate of helping people affected by conflict and armed violence. The group stated this during a courtesy visit to Plus TV Africa's office in Lagos by its spokesperson, Aliyu Dowery. Plus TV Africa's senior correspondent, Kayode Ladendi, tells us more. While it is debatable whether Nigeria is at war, the International Committee of the Red Cross is not leaving anything to chances as it continues to provide services to civilian population in the Northeast who are affected by the insurgency. Speaking on the challenges faced by its officers, the RCRC spokesman in Nigeria highlights the problem of access. Working with the, rest, with the International Committee of the Red Cross is actually a daunting task. Uh, a lot of uh, issues come up and uh, yeah, working in conflict situation because the organization is given the mandate to protect and assist people that are affected by armed conflict and violence. And this is what we've been doing in Nigeria. A lot of uh, issues that have to do with access. Uh, most of the times what we want to do is to protect and assist people that are affected by violence and conflict. Uh, if we don't have access, then this is really going to be a big challenge because the populations out there are going to continue to suffer. Uh, there would be no food uh, to support them with. There will be no medication. So this is really a big concern to us. Sadly, some of the ICRC had had to pay the supreme price while trying to save the civilian population. These, the body says, would not deter them from carrying out their functions dutifully. Uh, the humanitarian consequences in the northeast of Nigeria, where most of our operations are, is actually very, very uh, severe because we see a lot of people who don't have access to medication, to food, to, uh, if you like, uh, shelter and so on and so forth. So these are some of the challenges uh, that the organization is suffering because a lot of needs are out there and then our hands are tied. He explains that his neutral role is never called to question. ICRC is a neutral organization, uh, a neutral humanitarian organization that is independently working to assist people that are affected by conflict and violence. Uh, this is uh, our principle of operations. We try as much as possible to inform all the actors uh, to the conflicts, uh, both uh, the, 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 the civilian population and also the armed groups, uh, of course with the armed forces of Nigeria, that we are a neutral organization. And what we do is is mostly to assist civilian populations. Uh, this is what we do. Of course, uh, we also call on all the actors to the conflict to respect the International Committee of the Red Cross and also by extension to respect all humanitarian actors that are there supporting people that are affected. The harmed groups are expected to obey the rule of engagement, which protecting ICRC officers and other humanitarian groups fall into. Only when this is followed to the letter, the unwarranted attacks faced by these good-spirited citizens may not end in the nearest future. Kaya de Ladeindi, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.